Hi everyone, it is October 9, 2019. All right, I'm in South Carolina, my power is on. I'm sitting here with the lights on and my refrigerator is running. And I'm pissed about what is taking place in Northern California. So you guys, you must be really outraged. And rightfully so. Okay, you've got wind in California, PG&E, got to shut off the power to nearly a million. Oh, and power outages possibly will be affecting 2 million of you guys in California, Northern California. Yeah, PG&E, they want to protect their customers. Shut off the power. We've got wind. How much wind? I'm going to be showing you wind maps. Now, those of you who are quote unquote awake, you understand what's going on here. First of all, you are to be with no security anymore and you are to be degraded, brought down to third world status. Get used to it. This is the new US of A. And all of you outside of California, as I have said throughout the years, pay close attention to what's happening in California because California, the forefront of what is happening and what is to come to all of us all over the country. I, I, I am so sorry that you are having to endure this. It is absolutely outrageous and it is the idiocy of PG&E shutting off their power because they want to protect you from wildfires when you get wind. Have you not had wind? Have you not had wind? Oh, before? Now this is new. This is the new life in California. This is not going to get better. It's only going to get worse. I can't believe, I'm like stunned. I'm speechless. I'm for the 24 hours. I've been thinking, what the hell? I don't even know what to say anymore that Californians can't see through this, that they cannot see through. This. You've had wind a whole lot, probably all your life. Oh yeah. All right. I'm going to, I am going to go for it. I'm going to say, yeah, you've had wind all your life and your power was not deliberately shut off. Okay. And you've had wind and you didn't have wildfires. Yeah, PG&E is afraid that a power line will come down or sparking might occur. Well, why weren't they afraid? I don't know, years and years ago. Why hasn't PG&E uh, you know, done those, the maintenance to make sure the power lines don't come down. You're paying a whole lot for your power. Where's the money going? All right. This, I, I can't believe what is happening in this country and Americans are not getting it. How could they not be getting it? Oh. Very growing frustrations here, basically stemming from that lack of information from PG&E, and mainly people are saying it's because their website isn't working properly, and they're also suspicious of the size of this shutoff. I'm, I'm not happy with PG&E. We really didn't get notified at all after the first warning, so I don't really know. Um, you know, I don't feel like we've been told, kept up to date. After the utility announced a massive shutoff affecting more than 800,000 customers. Some of those customers say PG&E's plan isn't thought out enough, referring to the company's ever-changing updated shutoff times while their website is down. It's not fair. <laughs> it's not right. I mean, what if somebody has a medical device that needs to be running? PG&E claims they need to shut off power to 29 northern and central California counties during upcoming windy weather to avoid a wildfire. I'm all for safety, but I'm, I'm questioning 
I don't know. It, it just seems a bit extreme and severe. We're being stuck taking uh, the hit for PGA. For that, Exactly, and I just, you know, it has a whole bad feeling to me. Residents in Northern California also feel frustrated, calling PG and E negligent. They didn't do what they were supposed to do and keep up with the lines and the power. And their answer to everything is just shut it off so we can't get blamed for it. Um, and it's just, uh, it's a major inconvenience. It's going to cost companies billions of dollars, and um, it all could have been avoided. People are also angry over the power line inspection that happened after the shutoffs. They say it stretches out the time of the outages. You know, that sounds really bogus to me. Spray, they're going to have to inspect everything. It's just bad and bad. It doesn't sound right to me. Well, that's good. I'm sorry about the volume. Even within just one video, amazing that these mainstream media YouTube channels can't seem to get their volume synced. Is anybody else experiencing that? It's very frustrating. Bogus? She said bogus. It seems kind of bogus. Yeah, because once the power goes down, well, they can't then put it back. You, you, can't, you can't get power because then they have to send out inspectors for what? Of course it's bogus. Of course it's bogus. Now, what are you going to do? These companies have, have become so big. What are you going to do? Do you have an alternative to go to? Or is it just P, G, and E? Why do we allow these monopolies to manifest? When monopolies used to be broken up? Because this is absolutely part of the plan. You will have no security anymore, Americans. You are being brought down. And get used to your third world status. You know, those Central American companies, uh, uh, countries, sorry, and, uh, you know, the power outages that occur. Yeah, Americans. You ain't going to be comfortable. And if you're comfortable and haven't suffered the consequences of this, you will. You will actually quite shortly. What did the elderly do? Now, if this woman and so many others were not even given any warning, the power just goes out, what are people who have medical conditions needing electricity, what are they to do? What, what's happening with the elderly? So they want to protect their customers and they don't even give them any warning to prepare for this. All right, something's very wrong with this picture and it's obvious. And you know what? I, I, I'm so sorry that a whole lot of Californians will not get it. all day long have been wrapped through the parking lot onto Monument Boulevard and onto surface streets as people are concerned they won't be able to fill up their cars if the power goes out. At the Costco on Monument Boulevard at Concord, gas lines wrapping around the block for the chance to fuel up before the lights potentially go out. I filled up the propane too, so that I'll have a refrigerator and I'll have um, a generator uh, for my house. This is Rod Michelson's backup plan moving into his RV. Fanny DeVoren is planning her next moves after filling up her tank. I put uh, freezer water bottles in the freezer to freeze them up so I can put them in the refrigerator for later. In Oakland, the preparations are moving from the personal level to citywide, with all cops having days off canceled for all hands on deck patrol. We take this red flag warning extremely seriously. We all know the devastation that fires can cause. I don't like her. I just don't like her, okay? Uh, this is so, I don't believe it. I cannot believe, you know, it's like I, I, we all understand the agendas. We all understand that we're being brought down. But when you're facing all of your fellow Americans and they just refuse to get it, 
and they allow these pieces of crap to remain in office. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Yeah, that's exactly right now. My photographer and I just got an alert on our phone about possible power outages to this neighborhood. This neighborhood in East San Jose will almost certainly be without power, but many who live in this part of town say that they weren't aware or were left ill-prepared for what could be a life and death situation. PG&E's plan could plunge large swaths of the South Bay into darkness. I have asthma and so does my daughter. So sometimes we get episodes that we can't breathe. Um, so we need to plug in the machine to breathe at night sometimes. After learning about possible power outages, Maribel Hernandez rushed to Home Depot to buy a backup generator. But they were sold out at the store closest to her home and throughout much of the city. I am concerned, but um, worst case scenario, then we're just going to have to probably go to emergency if we need um, help. Throughout the South Bay, residents like Maribel and emergency managers were both left scrambling by PG&E's announcement. In San Jose, city leaders say they feel like they've been left in the dark without the detailed neighborhood-by-neighborhood neighborhood information they need to develop an emergency plan. It's frustrating because we're not getting the right information or as you're finding out yourself that, wow, the information I see doesn't quite make sense to me. San Jose is planning to send police and firefighters into neighborhoods without power. We're redeploying areas uh, for faster service with uh, uh, police and fire. Even people who bought generators ahead of time, like Mark Maxson, says it's an open question his neighbors will be ready for a sustained outage. Just on my street, there's like 10 people that have dialysis and breathing machines, and they didn't do anything. According to a Okay, so all of those people, what are they going to do? PG&E gets away with this? They're not even telling uh, city or local government officials? They're scrambling? The information is not clear. The website goes down. Wow, ma'am. We sure do put up with a lot of crap. It's amazing. I don't get regular TV. I just watch a lot of uh, streaming TV, so I didn't hear anything about this, as well as a lot of other people around our neighborhood. And um, it's, it's, I woke up at midnight last night and everything is shut off. I, I am not prepared. I'm so annoyed. I can't even, I, I'm just so annoyed that this is happening. And I feel like the reason that it's happening is the failure of PG&E. And I feel like um, their failures are, are, are why we are in the mess that we're in. And uh, we pay them a lot of money. We've had our prices hiked a lot of times. We don't, I don't feel like, like it's right. I just don't feel like it's right. And I'm very, very upset and annoyed over it. I was trying to get coffee. I went to two gas stations. They're completely closed and, and blocked off. I came into Starbucks. They're closed. Now I'm going to go over to Radies to see if I can get some coffee because, like I said before, I'm unprepared. It's... Oh my god. Wow, man. This is, you know, first of all, you know, it's not just a communist takeover or a socialist takeover or uh, a Zionist takeover or a Jesuit takeover. It's also corporate, corporate, corporate takeover. Companies now can do whatever the hell they want to do. Corporations can do whatever the hell they want to do. Do Californians realize that PG&E is also involved with weather modification? All right. How do you get through to people who just don't care about facts and evidence and the truth anymore? This is what happens, the ripple effect of those who still choose willful ignorance, those who are knowledgeable, those who are active trying to stop you know, what's happening to all of us, uh, you have to suffer the consequences of your fellow residents, fellow Americans who don't give a shit or they just 
desperately have to hang on to their ignorance, believing that their opinion is just fine. I'm going to listen to mainstream media. Yeah, 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 I know they lie, but I'm still going to listen to it. All right, you know, wow. Yeah, everything is just going to get worse and worse and worse, guys. Massive power shutoffs to begin early Wednesday. PG&E confirms. Okay. It's, uh, oh, those high-tech companies, San Francisco, Nancy Pelosi's, you know, district, where, where she lives. Oh, right, and what, what's the other uh, nutcases, the psychopath, um, Diane Feinstein, that's where they live. No power outages there. Why? Huge swaths of California were without power on Wednesday after the recent bankrupt Utility PG&E, whose downed power lines caused last year's campfire. Oh, right, the downed power lines. The downed power lines, yeah. It wasn't directed energy, downed power lines, all right. Yeah, preemptively pulled the plug on hundreds of thousands of customers, the unprecedented move designed to reduce the risk of wildfires, plunged more than half a million homes in 20 counties and counting across northern and central California into darkness shortly after midnight and plans are in place to cut power to over 250,000 more. In total, it could be 2 million. Chunks of the region remain conspicuously absent from outage maps. Well, if you know where Nancy Pelosi lives, and if you can actually get that hmm, the power outage map working on the PG&E site, if you can get it working, well, put in Nancy Pelosi's address. See if she is experiencing a power outage. But the high tech, the tech giants, no. Oh, because they have uh, different power lines. That's the reason. That's the reason. It's dangerous weather conditions, as if you haven't had these weather conditions before. They may jostle power lines and other equipment, sending sparks into a flammable vegetation below. All right. My God. The idiocy that Americans believe. It's so... Yeah. Um, it... it this affects us all, directly or indirectly, but the more people allow this, it only gets worse. It only gets worse. I will link below to everything. My computer's slow. Uh, here is PG&E's Twitter page. Let's refresh it just to see if more tweets came in. So why can't Twitter uh, actually have tweets in, you know, the, like a chronological order of time? I don't know why. Here's the list of counties. You can check it out. Uh, yeah, PG&E gives tips on what you should be doing during your power outage. Isn't that nice of them? Fury is mounting at the utility, which had to erect barricades around its headquarters today. What a surprise. Of course people are pissed. Public outrage over the PG&E blackouts has reached a new pitch. New layer of chaos surrounds the bankrupt utility. Let's check it out. Oh, God. You know, when you turn the ad blockers off, it's so annoying because ads just come out of nowhere. Where no pictures, no pictures. Well, let's see. Now my 
okay? Um, due to changing weather conditions, like you've never had changing weather conditions in California, the shutoff has been delayed and will begin at 8 p.m. That's in Santa Clara. Uh, take a look at any California power outage map right now and you'll see a bizarre, almost gerrymandered looking hole over the area of where the big tech companies fancy headquarters are located. Uh, pg and will shut off power in the next 24 hours to more than 800,000 customers. Oh, there's a long list of counties and within those counties, the cities and towns that are already affected by this power outage. This cannot be something that can be acceptable nor long term. This is third world and we are not. Billions meant for power line maintenance wasted, including going to shareholder profits. That's the complaint from state and local lawmakers. They say PG&E has no confidence in their own system. Clearly they don't. Clearly they don't. If PG&E were so worried about fire safety, they would move the power line. They have attached my old oak tree. All right, you know, I, I, this country is, okay, so because of PG&E, my area will have a power outage. So if I'm inactive for a few days, it's because I don't have Wi-Fi or my phone is dead. Would love to know if PG&E CEO, Bill Johnson, PG&E shareholders will have their power shut off or stay knife nice and comfy for the next few days. Of course they will. This is causing such disruption. This is causing so many people who need their businesses operating to get the income to pay their bills. My God, plenty of anger. California's on-purpose blackout and a state anxiously confronting the sharpening consequences of changing climate. My God. All right, well, this is the consequences that all of us have to suffer because I, I'm not going to listen to you, you conspiracy theorist. I don't care about the fact that you've got mountains of evidence that prove that, well, that climate change, you know, and those heat waves and the extreme weather events that man with this technology that man now has is actually causing it all. I'm not going to take a look at that. I'm going to believe the lie. And then I'm going to say, good, PG&E, you should be shutting down power because, well, look at the fires that we've had in the past. Pandemonium in Eureka. You couldn't get gas last night. There was a two hour wait at a grocery store to check out. Stoplights, traffic backed up, stoplights not working. Unbelievable. Wow, man. These are really sick, sick, twisted psychopaths. We are not a third world country. Officials criticize PG&E. But isn't that the Oakland mayor? I think so. Oakland Zoo officials are worried about their food supply and animals during the shutdown, especially the endangered species. Oh, but we've got to shut power to protect, to protect all of our customers. Right? Yeah. How many people will die during this shutdown? How many animals? Oh my God, guys. I, I can't. Look. It's so outrageous. 
so outrageous. Wow. PG&E outage is a good opportunity to remind everyone that the privatization of services a functioning society depends on power, water, is a stupid fucking idea. Uh, it doesn't matter. Government, private, they're all in cahoots. Get it. Your government, local, state, federal, they're all taken over. They all get direction from those behind that curtain. And then they just execute the plan. And we've had a corporate takeover for decades. You want to talk fascism? And, you know, you have all the younger generation, uh, well, it's capitalism that did that. As if we've had capitalism, we've had fascism. We never had a free market. My God. Oh, yeah, great. A generator maker's stock is up almost 10% because of power outages. I thought that was a 10% hike in price. Repeatedly is the PG&E site crashing. Oh, man. Well, don't you wish you could knock sense into people? I mean, do you have an alternative to PG&E? You can't rely on this company, clearly, right? You cannot rely on this company. But that's the point, Americans, you are. And when you experience these things over and over and over again, you get that, okay, in the back of your mind or in the forefront is a stress. And that's how you begin to live, waiting for the next event. There are so many people who just have uh, pennies or nothing in terms of money. So all of that food, that will be destroyed. Well, all right. I, I'm just so sorry that you have to deal with this. This is the power outage list. And boy, it goes on and 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 on. Here it is. And, yeah, there may be more. Why, how is it that people think that corporations, uh, utility companies, government, why do they actually still believe that these people care about ordinary people, they don't. And frankly, this could just be, you know, the CEOs and all of the true psychopaths. This could just be for fun. Let's see what happens. Let's turn off the power. Let's not even give them any information or any warning. Hey, let's crash the website. What fun. There are true, uh, sadistic psychopaths, malignant narcissists who love to cause a whole lot of suffering and they laugh while they're watching all of the chaos. So, is it windy? Ah, oh, San Jose, three knots. So what, five miles per hour? Oh, very windy. 12 knots, 14 knots. And the not uh, conversion 
just times the knot by 1.15 and you'll get you'll get the mile per hour yeah real windy they said it was going to be windy in the mountains in the mountains well doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be six knots a whole lot of wind got to shut that power off right yeah unbelievable seven knots all right well you know here's another wind map here's another wind map all right um let's see san jose four five miles per hour wind speed and then sacramento five santa rosa five Oh, big 19, eight, it's, I'm so sorry. I will link below to everything. You can go all over, you know, click on it. The wind speeds are not great, but you're having to suffer a power outage. Anyone who gets injured by this power outage should sue pg &E. There's no way to stop this insanity. There's no way to stop it. I can't believe it. Ten. Six. All right. Well, severe weather on, on its way. <sighs> Sorry to inform. Severe thunderstorms, tornadoes may erupt on southern edge of snowstorm. Kansas City, Oklahoma City. All right. Area of greatest risk will extend from north central Texas to southwestern Iowa, includes central and eastern Oklahoma, northwestern Arkansas, eastern Kansas, western Missouri. Locally severe storms may erupt over areas to the north and south of all of the areas that I just mentioned. Due to the presence of plenty of warm and humid air, um, All right, what are you gonna be seeing? Lots of snow, lots of rain, thunderstorms. Okay, uh, historic all out blizzard to bury huge swath of central United States, unleashing punish, punishing cold blast across much of the plains and the Midwest. Oh, wow, harvest the farmers that were actually able to plant something this year. Many not able because of all of the flooding. Now you're looking at a whole lot of snow coming in at harvest time. Following a high in the low 80s on Wednesday, Denver, you're gonna be seeing a plunge of 60 degrees lower by Thursday and you'll be accumulating snow. Snow and winds will be increasing from much of North Dakota, central and western South Dakota, western Nebraska, northwestern Minnesota, eastern North Dakota. Do you know what's happening to farmers? I'll get to it. Six to 12 inches in much of the Dakotas, 12 to 24 or to 30 inches likely for north central north dakota to central and northeastern north dakota two feet of snow bismarck jamestown devil's lake north dakota south dakota and yep winnipeg manitoba um u.s farmers to get exactly what they didn't want they didn't get an early frost, which was, well, they were claiming an early frost was coming just a couple of days ago. No, no early frost, but you're getting snow. A whole lot of it. A whole lot of it. 
they're supposed to be harvesting, and now they're going to get a foot or two of snow, which may take a week to melt, and then you have saturated ground. Just 15% of the corn has been harvested in 18 key corn-producing states, compared to the five-year average of 27%, 14% of soybeans, compared to 34%. Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, Wisconsin, corn harvested less than 3%. Same four states, uh, they're behind in soybeans with North Dakota at just 8% compared to the five-year average of 48%. Wow. Okay. Food shortages, higher prices, more farmers killing themselves and going bankrupt. Oh, those trade wars. That's right. So you got the flooding, now you got the snow, then you had the trade wars. Yeah. Make America great again, Donald. And keep that trade war going forever, which is destroying an awful lot of Americans. Farm-related suicides increasing, bankruptcies increasing, and Americans are getting destroyed deliberately. It's just put in American farms are declining rapidly. Beijing, this is 14 hours ago, Beijing has sharply cut its purchases of U.S. soybeans. Another hit. And you will see small dairy farms in the south because of the drought in the south flooding in the midwest drought in the south oh no fires but power outages in california americans aren't getting this it's amazing demand for cow products will decrease triggering a death spiral of cattle farmers by 2030, the U.S. dairy and cattle industry will have collapsed. Apple tree die-off in Maine. Wow. A whole lot of people are really suffering. So, uh, you have what they are planning for you. A massive blizzard. Where is it coming from? Where is it coming from? Do you see what's happening here? Oh, okay. Let's see. Ah, huh. they've turned off the extremely low frequencies right in here. So, well, the one thing that I do want to show you is, wow, where is this? California, microwave city. And what is this? Is that like a low pressure? Uh, system that is very bizarre looking quite bizarre looking and whoa well kind of looks like manufacturing is going on look at these microwaves taking place and I've never seen College of DuPage the uh, the frequencies are pretty intense and look, you can see the, the signatures of microwaves taking place, but it's very clear right in here. And I've never seen all of these lines going through College of DuPage. Yeah, I think you're having an awful lot of frequencies taking place. Look at these microwaves all over. Look at, you know, and you have air masses going all over the place now all right if i play this out it's just going to take way too long if if some of you want to see it i'll post it but the manufacturing of everything <laughs> that we are seeing 
uh, all of these, the blizzards, the storms. I mean, look, look at this. This is not natural. All of the frequencies. Look at what's happening in uh, I can't tell. Is this? That was down in Mexico. Oklahoma? Oh, wow. Look at that. They're manufacturing cloud for you. The whole thing. Um, you can just look at this and know that something is happening here and it's not Mother Nature. It is not Mother Nature. Look at all of these microwaves. You know, you have... My God, the manipulation is pretty intense. Okay, so... This, this is not moving right here, but this is over here. It's moving underneath. This is what we see all the time. You know, the jet stream, air masses, crazy. And none of it is good. None of it is good. For for life itself. Okay, so this is Oklahoma. They're preparing for your blizzard. So, where, how, why is this blowing up like that? Hmm, don't know. Let's see. Let's go to this radar site. Oh, wow, look at those extremely low frequencies belting away right right where they're creating the cloud and creating your snowstorm and yes the radar blasts pulsing very dangerous frequencies oh it's starting very early very early now I can't believe what we're living. It's like, come on. It's sad. Now, you look at these things and you're like, okay. Once you start looking at them for a while, you can see the, the frequencies almost immediately and they're in this as you can see i stopped it so i'm going to manually pull it back and you can also see the chemtrails in it right here they're loading you up this is uh south dakota and you look how defined this was just it's hit with the frequency so it's all manipulated we all know it and people should be outraged and farmers you should because don't you look at the sky farmers you should notice our skies are not right all right guys i will link below to everything i'm sorry i am so sorry you guys in california have to suffer this crap this psychopathic you know these oh man this is not the way life should be. But this is current time. So, the technology, nanotechnology, artificial intelligence, these extremely low frequencies, the Doppler radar emitting very dangerous high frequencies into the ionosphere, then they, you know, lessen the power and boom, then the ionosphere comes, well, crashing down, sending extremely low frequencies right on down to Earth, you know. And you have more 
pulsating frequencies up here in in California. I'm sorry guys, but it really does get, you know, the, the life has just become a crazy making thing when you have so many things that are so obvious and then you try to reach your fellow Americans and they're just not home. You know, you want to just, you know, knock on their head. Hello? Hello? Anyone in there? Stay safe. Everyone, stay safe.